welcome everyone welcome to your own channel on data science and machine learning in this playlist we are learning how to build data pipelines using apache airflow in our last video we created a sample data pipeline using dummy operators in this video we will see how to create data pipeline using Python operators. Let me move to my Visual Studio code. First step, we will import certain modules and packages. From date time, we'll import date, time delta, and Airflow package. From Airflow, we'll import the DAG. Basically, we want to create the DAG object and define their tasks to be executed. We'll use the dummy operator. Dummy operator just to show start and end. The Python operator. Python operator is where we will write our Python callable functions to perform ETL operations. So here, let us define three functions. One for extract, transform, and load. So far, we are not yet pulling data from some table or some web website. So I'm just writing a function. And here, our logic to extract the data would be coming. Here, I'm not passing any parameter. In the next function, I am passing one parameter. I'm just printing the value of that to show how we can take a parameter and use it. Obviously, the logic to transform will come. And here, I'm demonstrating two parameters being passed and I'm displaying those values. You may say, is it necessary to have the extract transform and load all of three as three different functions no you may write one function and you take all the parameters that you want say something like this and you can have the logic to extract data the whatever logic that you have for transform coming here and whatever logic you have for loading coming here. However, ideally, this may not be the best practice. If there are lots of transformations that you want to do, then making the code modular is advisable. If the entire code for ETL is very small, you may have the entire code written in one function. Okay, even this is possible, so I'm not denying that. However, I'm going to take a slightly modular approach for now, just to nicely show the DAG as three, mod uh, three task extract, transform, and load. So I'm going to use this E transform and load function you can write the code like this also having defined and having written our functions though still these are functions with just print statements but I hope you can understand and you are able to visualize that yeah going forward as we keep building our solution we will keep plugging the actual code in these functions Okay, so you need to continue and stay with this entire playlist where in sequence we are going to build the entire solution. Some default arguments, the same set of default arguments that we had taken in the earlier video. We'll create a DAG. This time we are calling it example Python operator, the default arguments catch up equal to false. We'll just initialize and start a dummy operator. 
we create a Python operator. Task ID, we give it extract. Which function to call? The Python callable will call the extract function. Because extract function does not take any parameter, we don't have to pass anything to it. The second function transform requires some parameter. One parameter was there. I can pass parameter using op args operator arguments. Then here you see there are two parameters. We can pass multiple parameters as a sequence of values. So if you have two parameters, the sequence in which those parameters expect the value in the same sequence you can give. However, in case you want to pass the parameters with their key words, instead of using this op args, we can use op kw args also where we can pass the parameters with the keys so here this needs to be defined in double code otherwise it would become a variable so this become a key and the corresponding value so this key will go for the parameter p2 and the second key where we have given as p1 it will automatically map things based on the key so this is another approach of passing the parameters so let me just comment this one for the time being and have this then we have our end dummy operator this is the sequence this sequence gives the dependencies the end is dependent on execution of l load load is dependent on execution of transform transform is dependent on execution of extract extract is dependent on start we can run this dag in our uh, using the admin ui for the apache airflow dags so I can execute the DAG from here. Let me open it and see the graph. Let's execute this. Trigger the DAG. Note before you can see the Apache admin, you need to run the command airflow web server and airflow scheduler you need to ensure the web server is started and the scheduler is also started in my case i'm using a server in the background the web server and the schedulers are already running in a daemon mode let's see each of these functions one by one this is extract let's see the log and in extract we had written one print statement logic to extract data that print statement has come in transform we had taken one parameter and we displayed the value of that parameter so the value of a1 is and we passed the parameter learning data engineering it is displayed and then the second print logic to transform data and the load here we have two parameters the value of p1 is k2 and the value of p2 is analytics and then logic to load data currently we are just using simple print statements in real applications we will have the business logic the transformation logic extraction logic coming there let us now run the same thing with op kw args i am saving 
I'm saving this code. Let's come back. Have the DAG refresh. Oh, it says that there is an error. What's the error? OP args is equal to. What's the error? Okay. I need to give this as a key value pair as a dictionary. My mistake. I gave it as a equal to. Let's save it. Let's come back and have this tag refresh. The error has gone. Let's run the DAG, trigger it. Okay, finally it has executed. And this is where for the load we had given the parameters as keyworded arguments. The value of P1 is K2 and the value of P2 is analytics. So we can see, we can pass the parameters to these DAGs. Coming back, what if I have these functions returning some value? Return some value. And the value or the object which so here let me say object object is a much more better terminology extract function returns some object which i need to pass as a parameter to transform function how do i do that to be able to pass parameter from one function which can be accessed in another function we need to use something called as XCOMS that stands for cross communication. Without XCOM, we will not be able to pass object from one function to another. Reason being when we invoke these functions in the Python operator using the Python callable each of these functions run in their own virtual environment and because they are running in their own virtual environment the object of this python callable function is not available to this function and the way to pass object from one function return type of one function to another function is by the usage of XCOMS. We will see how to pass the return value in our upcoming session. Till then, thank you, bye bye, and I hope you will practice this wherever you find that you are unable to type in the code. I suggest pause, type in the code. By typing the code, you will better learn the Apache Airflow. Any programming language is better learned by typing the syntax. With this, I say bye bye. Thank you. See you in the upcoming video.